Turlite Copper is one of two custom smelters in India and has set up two continuous cast copper rods units. The continuous cast copper rod plants are based on technology and equipment from continuous properzi, Italy. The plants have total annual capacity of 240,000 tons. Cathodes are melted in a vertical shaft furnace based on technology from Asarco, USA. The molten copper is transferred to the casting wheel through a holding furnace. Highly accurate measurement and control systems intrinsic to the properzi technology are used to maintain optimum level of molten metal which is cast into the form of a continuous bar. Extensive process control backed by computerized quality analysis makes sterlite continuous cast copper rods highly suitable for telecom, magnet wire, transformer, housing wire and cable applications. Copper rod is coiled in an orbital laying form to ensure freedom from entanglement while uncoiling by the customers. Each coil is compacted, strapped and wrapped with polyethylene wraps and stretch wrapped to prevent contamination with dust and ensure excellent arrival condition at the customer's end. Its applications include jelly filled telephone cables, magnetic wires and winding wires, power cables, automobile wire harness, communication cables, house wiring, conductors, rounds and flats and transformers. Copper is a, a major metal uh, which, has, which would see uh, unsurmounted growth in, in India in various uh, segments because as the industry grows in terms of power sector construction, copper is a major component in the growth of a country. The main uses of copper are in the construction industry. Copper is used for plumbing, roofing and cladding. Copper is a light and durable metal that helps build maintenance-free structures. It has antimicrobial properties that help in providing hygienic surfaces in hospitals and other healthcare facilities. About 65% of copper that is produced is used for electrical applications. The everyday uses of copper include doorknobs and other fixtures in the house. Copper uses also include frying pans, knives, forks and spoons that contain some copper if they are made from electroplated nickel silver. It is also used in copper water heating cylinders, copper bath tubs, copper sinks and copper counters. Copper in the form of metal and as a pigmented salt is used to make decorative art like statues and sculptures. One cannot imagine a life without copper. Starting from industrial usage to day-to-day -day household activities, copper plays an important role in our life. We have state-of-the-art technology to arrest emissions, which helps us to keep our emissions well within the stipulated norms. The sulfur dioxide gases generated in the smelting process are collected and ducted to the sulfuric acid plant. Set up with basic engineering from Werner Chemetics, Canada, the plant is based on the absorption process known as DCDA and has a designed capacity to produce 1,600 tons of sulfuric acid per day. Sulfuric acid is an oily liquid chemical. There are many different sulfuric acid uses in the industry as it is one of the least expensive acids in the world. The uses of sulfuric acid vary from fertilizers to battery and as industrial catalysts. Sulfuric acid uses also include removal of oxides from iron and steel before electroplating or galvanizing. Sulfuric acid is reacted with rock phosphate in the phosphoric acid plant to produce phosphoric acid. The plant has an installed capacity to produce 180,000 tons of phosphoric acid per annum. Its application in various industries ranging from metallurgy to the food industry make this a popular acid. Gypsum board is primarily used as a finish for walls and ceilings known in construction as drywall as a plaster ingredient, fertilizer and soil conditioner, plaster of Paris, surgical splints, casting molds, modeling. For adding hardness to water used for home brewing as a component of Portland cement used to prevent flash setting of concrete as soil and water potential monitoring, soil moisture tension in foot creams, 
shampoos and many other hair products as impression plasters in dentistry. Copper slag, also known as ferro sand, generated during pyrometallurgical production of copper from copper concentrates, contains mainly iron, silica, alumina, calcium, oxide, etc. Various studies established that copper slag is non-leachable, non-toxic, and possesses properties similar to natural aggregates. Some of the established applications of slag are cement and concrete manufacturing, landfill, ballast, abrasive, aggregate for road and roofing application, granules, glass, tiles, etc. Apart from recovering of the valuable metals by various extractive metallurgical processes, concrete containing ground granulated slag develop strength over a longer period leading to reduced permeability and better durability. At Sterlite Copper, environmental management is an ongoing effort to improve the performance in achieving the long-term goal of environmental sustainability, thereby resulting in a healthy and ever-improving triple bottom line. Safety, health and environment is an integral part of our business and we give the highest priority for this subject. They make conscious attempts to design more efficient processes that use fewer types and quantities of hazardous materials and which produce less waste and emissions. Our technologies have been sourced worldwide with careful consideration on aspects of process efficiency, environmental efficiency, energy efficiency. The environmental compliance standards are met at par with the European and the Japanese smelters. Water inside the plant is completely treated in our treatment plants and reused back in the process. So this helps us in always maintaining a zero discharge concept right from the inception of the plant. The overall environmental performance enhancement has been initiated in the following areas. Raw material consumption, energy use and conservation, water consumption and conservation, biodiversity, emissions, effluence, waste management, environmental compliance, products and services, environmental expenditure. As part of the safety system at Sterlite, all the contract workers and Sterlite employees are given full-fledged safety induction before they enter the worksite. Sterlite also provides the following personal protective equipments to all the employees to ensure safety on work. Safety helmet, respirator, goggles, safety shoes, ear plug, gloves. For Sterlite, the health of both employees and contract labor is of utmost importance and do not compromise on improving the occupational health conditions. Health is an important aspect in every quantum of our operations. We take care of the health of the employees, their dependents and the community at large. We give a proper first aid training and take care of emergencies on 24 hours basis and there is a well-equipped occupational health center operating in our plant premises, equipped with a talented, dedicated team of doctors and paramedical people. Stellar Copper deploys the best HR practices. We model our HR practice on the HIVIT model. And uh, as part of training, we, we train our employees uh, at the time of induction through a rigorous process of training, wherein they are told about the various parts of the company, our best practices, health, safety, environment, our 5S practices. And as and for other employees, we have various behavioral training programs and various training programs on the technical capabilities to enhance their skills and overall to round them off as better individuals as, and to groom them for the various positions in the group. In, in terms of women, we have about 15 to 20 percent of our employees are women who work uh, in the shop floor uh, and also in various other departments uh, in, in, the, in the plant. We benchmark ourselves with our peer organizations and world-class organizations, always scaling to uh, new heights and, and high performance. We believe measurement leads to improvement. The right path for the right, right people. Every management position is a leadership position. We expect every leader to make a meaningful contribution in his work and for the organization.